This is Justine, I'm Irene. Hi. We're from <laughs> We Made It and we're going to walk through some fabrics for some of the launch designs that we're doing and how you should choose it and why and we're going to talk through how it's going to affect different body types and different sizes. Mm. So, Justine. Okay, so we're going to start with the high-waisted pant here. So this fabric yeah. has a lot of body to it, which is really good for um, a lot of different shaped women because let's face it, none of us are perfect. We all have our insecurities and this sort of fabric hides a lot of flaws mm. um, and uh, and also it's good because these are high-waisted pants so if you want to you can wear a little light fabric top with it yeah or a knit top or yeah. something like that and you can tuck it in and you won't see any of the extra fabric from tucking the top in so it's um one of the frictions that a lot of the women, especially the uh, the, the 16 and larger sized women, you know, I'm not going to call them plus size, I'm just going to say that they're just more voluptuous, yes. um, that uh, they don't like the way it wears on the seam in their butt. So right. So what causes that? What is causes it, that? Is that, well, I know there's a multitude, but. The, the, the main reason is it's not fitting properly. Yeah. It's not fitting properly, so it's going to, you know, there will be a little bit of pull on the seam and that frays the fabric yeah, right. badly. So you must, you know, you've got to have, you've got to be able to pinch your seams just a little bit on each side so you can, when you do the pinch, you should be able to get around two, two centimeters in total. So just the tip of, tips of your fingers? Yeah, that would be a fold. that's right. Yeah, so just, a just the, yeah, so one it's like centimeter. one centimeter on each side. Yeah. You know, so when it's pinched, it's just, it's 0.5 centimeters, but it's, but yeah. it's double that for each side. Yeah, right. And, and okay, then you've got so a little bit of groom. And side. then, so, you know, when you, when you, you know, cause women go up and down, yeah. I mean, you just don't have to eat for the day and you've gone down. Yeah, right. So, um, so it's nice to have a little bit of movement. So it's never Never good to have something extremely tight. tight because your seams will give way. What about if it's got a bit of spandex in it? Spandex is good. Yeah. Those fabrics are meant to stretch just a little bit but uh, still you don't want to have um, especially you know and we're talking about all different sizes here size yeah. women there's nothing worse than seeing the shape of your underwear yeah, yeah, or any yeah. of that stuff or little bulges and spandex if it's still tight and there's no room to pinch in yep. that 0.5, you're still going to see these little bulges from your undies. So that's and the rule of thumb. Yeah, Always just make sure you got a centimetre. A little bit, just yep. a little bit of room for that movement up yep. and down. Yeah, yeah, yep. Okay, sweet. Yeah. Excellent. But this is a beautiful fabric, and and the fact that it's it's got a dark tone to it as well really helps to um, to knock out the sight of bulges and things yeah. like that. So, so it's, it's camouflage. It camouflages yeah, yeah, beautifully. Yeah. 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 It's a great fabric that one. So it's got yes, it's um it's it's a beautiful strong weave. Yeah. And um, good for pleating and it doesn't crush too much. So you know when you go looking for a fabric, as much as the fabric store would probably hate you, it's nice to do <laughs> this. It's nice to do this and hold it in the heat of your hand, just for a little bit, yeah. and see what happens to it. And if you see it sort of bouncing back, you know you've got a good resilient fabric there yeah. that can withstand a little bit of, um, you know, travel or sitting around in a car, whatever you have to do. And it, it won't can, it can cope and with show it. everything. That's right. right. So it's right. a great fabric. Fantastic. So I think we've done well buying that one. Yep, yep, excellent. Okay. Right. So this one is a linen. It's a linen and it's yeah. yeah, it's gorgeous. This this dress, I mean this fabric actually lends itself for a dress or a skirt or wide length pants. Yeah. You can do anything with this fabric yeah. to tell you the truth. It's yeah. it's a versatile number. So it's like so grace um, pants, you think? Could we do and shorts? Do you I think? think you could do shorts. Yeah. And I think you could do grace pants. I think you can do anything with this fabric, yeah. Irene. I think even in a in a top it would be nice. Mm -hmm. And it's there's enough when you hold it up, not that you can see it, but there is. But we'll a, do a zoom in. Yeah, so you'll get to see it closer. But there is enough uh, uh, of a, a weave here that actually allows a bit of air to penetrate it. So for our Australian conditions, it's perfect. Yeah. Um, Queensland in particular, perfect. We've got a coming up um, in the next round of patterns. We're going to have a halter neck jumpsuit. So you know, like just that. Oh yes. It was really popular yep. when I was making it before, and I actually think this would 
be really gorgeous good for, in it. Yes. Uh, so maybe we'll keep that for that. We more, might. And and then this can actually suit that one. Yeah. Uh, I think that's coming out in June. Fe uh, sorry, January, February, two thousand and nineteen. So that'll be the next round of patterns. Lovely. That'll so, be gorgeous. Um, yeah. This I this is a knit, and and we're gonna even though I'm not a fan of knits on the bottoms, there is a um, free pattern that we're gonna do for everyone. Yep. And it's gonna be a one size top, and I just love it. I yeah. can't remember. I think it was a vintage pattern. See, this is this fabric's nice because mm. it's not. It's got it's got body to it. So even I know what you're saying about knits and because sometimes you can wear a knit and it just goes down over every bump and accentuates your bumps. Mm. But this one, this knit is good because it, it, it's not going to do that as much because it's got more body to it. So yeah. it's not going to cling to every every lump and bump on your body. So when you say body, you mean a little bit of weight? It's got a bit of weight to it. Yeah. And um, a weight and almost like a stiffness. Yeah. It's the rayon knits you've got to stay away from. Yeah. For God, a, no. yeah, for a, for, yeah. From if you go from the neck to the Experience. ankle. Uh, <laughs> well, I have never worn them unless there's two layers of it. Oh no, I when I was sixteen I wore a rayon. Uh -huh. It was a, Oh yeah, no. God. The photos afterwards were tragic. No, I. You know? It's it's not forgiving. No, it's not yes, forgiving it's at not, all. And it's terrible um, to take care of. And um, I've seen a couple of women, mm. and I won't say anymore. Anyway, but this is, perfect, yeah. this is perfect. This is perfect. So is this is a spandex. nice. Yeah, it's a cotton spandex, and it's got a bit of body, a bit of stiffness to it. So yes, you could definitely wear that in a dress, skirt. Pants. Could we make the drawstring pants in a stretchy waistband without the drawstring whatsoever and make these for lounging around the house kind of pants? Yes. You know, like PJ yes. kind of pants. Yep. So maybe we should make one as an example yep. to show them how to make the drawstring pants without the drawstring. And that would probably take them 20 minutes, I reckon, to Could, make. Yeah, should be. Pockets yeah, on the back, really if optional, easy. you know, throw that together, yep. bang, house pants. Well, let's say the yeah. pockets actually give you a little bit of extra. Um, you won't see the panty line if you have the pockets oh, on the back. Yeah, so it's a nice way so of if hiding. You need to out, you yeah, can wear them. that's right. Yeah, because yeah. I bought a pair yeah. of Camilla Mark uh, pants made in a similar fabric, and that's the problem. Yeah, I, my knickers. You can see my knickers. So uh, pockets hide a okay, myriad of, of little things Excellent. like that. I love that. I love that idea. That's yes. good. Okay. <gasps> It's all natural fabrics, mm, uh, you yes. know, so I don't buy synthetic for many reasons. For one reason, if you're starting out with sewing, synthetics can actually be really jumpy and make it hard to sew, right? Because mm. that's the, it's got that static or yes. that, it's just a little bit unruly when you push it through the machine, which is what I was told. Yeah. But also too, I love sustainable and, you know, fabrics that just, these natural, last long. Natural, it is, yes. These last longer. I you know what so. I mean? So. Yes. You're more inclined to keep the natural, I think, in your wardrobe for years. And it doesn't peel it doesn't and it peel. washes well mm. the, it holds the shape and you can breathe in it and you can breathe summer in it, and winter you, you can know. breathe in it and you're probably less allergic to the naturals yeah. as well yeah so um this one so it's I a had beautiful the fabric for the straight lead drawstring yes david wants a pair so i figured you know unisex. Boys, uh, the, uh, yeah the unisex it's the unisex the drawstring. drawstring pant yeah perfect and yeah. it's a lovely it's a it's a very like neutral color as well yep which we love because it goes with black goes with white and everything and, that um, is out there for guys at yeah. the moment is plain pants yeah and bright tops you know what I mean like it's yeah. always been that way the crazy That's apart right. from boardies boardies are getting a little bit you know crazy out there yeah so this is a good complimentary to you know a, t a tea yeah and then mm. here look we'll do the we'll do the test again the annoying test the scrunchy the scrunchy so here we go we're just gonna do this and see what it's like um, because it's a twill weave it shouldn't actually be so bad how do you pick that it's a twill weave what what in there that in there, like it's got it does crush a little bit but that doesn't matter that's all part of the look isn't it <laughs> no, no, no. The crushier, the so better in see how you know. see how the um the the grain runs diagonal if the grain runs diagonal like that. Yes. It's, a, it's a twill weave. Okay, 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 okay. So a diagonal run of the thread. Yeah, that's okay. right. So and it just gives it a little bit more texture. Yeah. Wouldn't you say? And it's got slub through it. Yes. It's got this lovely yeah. slub. So it's got that flecky look. Yeah, I love it. We love it. I love it. It's I beautiful. It. We're both big fans of the natural fibre. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're biased. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, this is for the corset frock. It doesn't look like it, but there's actually four meters, four and a half meters here. So mm. it's a cotton, it's, quite quite light. Light. it's not a poplin, so it's not as thick. It's a, uh, what do you call this? Looks like it's, a, um, it's a Liberty. It looks like a Liberty. Le I think it is a Liberty. It's a Liberty fabric. Yes, it's quite fabric. Pretty. Okay, yeah. let's, let's just find the corner there and do the same thing again. Well, this is because it's for the so. corset frock. The corset frock has got those really scrunchy That's not bad. Al elements yeah. to, the, to the skirt. Yep. So, and it's, it's a softer weight fabric, mm. so it's going to what i found with the corset before when we were making it the thicker the fabric the more so if you want to um like a lady made one for a wedding dress in, she got married mm. in south africa in a, in a white silk wedding dress but she uh, we made it for her mm. um and we made it uh so but what she ended up giving me was a thicker handmade silk and it was a cream color and yep. the and the tucks in the corset dress skirt really stood out so whereas this fabric because it's lighter it's going to be more drapey and mm. more sleek against the body so it's not going to be as puffy no probably not but it'll still work yeah oh. it's um and it's a lovely it's a beautiful weight because yeah. it is um a liberty and it's not see-through because it's got this print over the top of, but it's the, still strong of enough. the base. Yeah. It's still strong enough. For I think so. It. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah. I thought so. And it's got a little bit of um, give in there too. Yeah. Irene. Right? Yeah. Is mm. it? Is it just mainly? But it's um. Yeah, it's got. Yeah. It's yeah. Just a, maybe it's because the the print on the top has pulled the the weave in a little bit. Ah. So when it does that, then you go like that. And, but that's good. Yeah. That's all fine. Um, yeah, very nice base cloth yeah. to do the um, corset dress in, and absolutely. I, I, I find it And it's light lightweight breeze. enough, Yeah, perfect for our Australian summers yeah. and probably perfect for the northern summers as well. But it also, you know, with the design, depending on the, the thickness, like the first ones I made was a heavier weight cotton and it was a uh, plaid, yellow mm. and black, and they sold out immediately. Mm -hmm. um, but they the girls loved it because of the weight yep. in the skirt you know so and then i had other girls buy two and this was for the beach and that was for dinner fabulous so the look on the fabric actually yep. made them look like different dresses exactly you know and made for one made for the morning made for or the day morning, and the other one was made the for the evening yeah perfect and that's the thing when you make it yourself you can do it for any time uh, of the day you can yes, do what you want exactly well you know, Gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, all of these fabrics we're talking about today are from the fabric the store. Fabric store there in, in Melbourne, Brisbane, and New Sydney, S yes. and soon to be in Adelaide. All oh, right, yeah. and New Zealand. Are they? I think so. How fantastic. Yeah. Anyway, so their fabrics are all ex designer. So these are really good quality, and I think if you're making something mm. for yourself and you're designing it from scratch, the final one that you're going to make, I think, invest in some fabrics like this, and they'll be just mm. pieces that will last you years. Every, yes, you know, exactly. So. Anyway, this is a cotton, 100%. Mm -hmm. Love that. I love it. I'm um, talking about body. This has got a lot of body to it. Mm. It's beautiful and it's um, good for tucks. Actually, you can still um, also gather. You can do anything with this and it, um, and it hides a myriad of sins as you wear it. Well, um, I, I thought for the shorts, the grey shorts, mm -hmm. the ones that finish mid-thigh, you know, because it covers yes. any dimples that might be in that top That's of the right. region. Those little lovely porky knees. Yes, yeah, <laughs> but you know, like when I was oh. an apple body type, which, yes. you know, uh, was only recently, up until recently, um, I loved wearing the grey shorts because it gave me shape around my waist because mm -hmm. of the wide waistband. Yep. But my legs were always my asset. No matter how much weight I put on, my legs look right. okay. Right. Yes. You know. Yes. So and another thing, you can you can still wear the little tops and yeah. tuck them in, so yeah. you can show your waist off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So or if you don't want to show anything bar here to there, <laughs> and you think because apples, they don't really want to show too much from there to there. But yeah. you can show your decolletage with That's a good right. top. That's right. Yes and then show your legs and mm. then nobody has to know what's going on yes. in between. But this fabric's also, I mean, you could actually do that corset dress in it too. Irene would be stunning. You know what I also. think? Also. That would be stunning. Yeah, so oh you could God, actually. Make a great evening dress option, right? Oh, no, absolutely. And, mm. it, and it's also, it's it's a beautiful cotton, and it, but it's a thick enough weight that you could still wear it in the northern winter with a coat over the top, of course. Yeah. But it's, um, it's a beautiful weight. I love it. Okay. I think it's great. Love it. Nice. Gorgeous. And beautiful fabric. plaid. Because it had to be a plaid. Of course. I love a plaid. I love a plaid. I like too. throwing a plaid on the uh, bias. 
Irene, I've done some dresses mm. on the bias okay. with a plaid. Yeah. And um, and and they have sold quite well. Okay. See, Good look at that. When you hold the plaid up and you do it on the bias, fantastic. Mm. It just gives a slightly different look to it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give yeah. a diamond. Yeah. But anyway, but this is lovely. This is perfect for what are we doing with this one? I thought we might make a caftan top. Uh, perfect. This one. Nice. I, it, I think it, uh, mm. you know, because even though it's a very summery looking top, mm. I think if we, I want to demonstrate how the fabric you use in the yes. design can actually make the design totally different. Yep. You know, so it's lightweight it's enough. Lightweight enough. It's boily. Um, yep. You know, like you can you can resilient. You know, like in the high waisted top, if you made, I mean, high waisted pants, if you made a, a black pair in the bottom and made this to go mm -hmm. on the top in a different color or something you know like I'm talking about this particular fabric but in general if you made plain pants yes printed top you know or printed yep. pants uh, plain top you know you could use this and tuck it in yeah and billow it out and kind of show the Gorgeous. parts that you want to show yes but hide the rest yes notice we are saying only half you don't do the plaid and the whole thing otherwise you look like a big Christmas present wouldn't you in the caftan Oh, you mean, what are you talking about, the caftan top or the caftan? Oh, you're going to do a caftan dress as well? No, 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 no the that's... beachy thing, you know, like I think the beachy thing. It actually could look nice, is yeah. it? Yeah, well, I don't know, <laughs> we're in two minds. I don't know, I was thinking, why not? I was just, I no, what plaid. I was saying is you wouldn't want to have a top and pant both in, in the plaid. plaid. Oh, no. Too much. You look like a Christmas present. Yeah, no, no, no. Unless you're doing something fancy dress, I would not. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but yeah. but doing a caftan or even lengthening the caftan to turn mm. it into a dress would be gorgeous. Mm. Or having a caftan, like you said. Yeah. So um, I almost feel like clapping then. But um, <laughs> so um, anyway, we'll close this up and. Um, yeah. um, I like it. I think it's beautiful. I, th I think um, I want to. I, I bought enough fabric of this so that we can make the caftan top plus the next round of tops that we're gonna make for the busty, you know, big bust, small yes. back kind of women. Um, I've got some ideas in the pipeline for those. And the but tuck shop arms. Tuck shop arms. I've got some really cool wing, ideas, whatever. but yes. I'm, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that later and get you guys to give us feedback and tell us which one you want us to make, and then we'll make that one. But um, that's it for the fabrics. I Thank think. you. So thanks, Justine. Oh, thank you, Irene. Yay!